Hi there viewers and welcome to the Repair It Don't Wreck It channel. Today I'm going to test the pressure on a natural gas fired standby home generator. To make things simpler, I'm going to make the connection for the manometer at the drip leg that serves the generator. You could go out and buy the fittings, but that's no fun. I had some black iron caps lying around. The brass adapter that I'm going to use has a one quarter inch national pipe thread on one side. On the other side is a 3 16 barbed insert style fitting. It will connect the manometer rubber tube. The hole required for the adapter tap is 7 16 of an inch. Just remember that this fitting can only be used for testing in a temporary situation. Since you've made it yourself, it's not a certified fitting. Don't install it on a system and leave it there permanently. This would be against the rules of the gas code that I am familiar with. Always double check with the authority having jurisdiction and the regulation that is being used for gas fired appliances on the rules. A lot of things are common sense in the gas regulations, but it never hurts to check. When making the threads with the tap, use plenty of oil. This will ensure that you'll get good quality threads that will not leak when you install the brass adapter. In the frame are half, three quarter and one inch black caps with a one quarter inch national pipe thread completed. This is the manometer that I'm going to use, complete with the rubber hose to connect to the adapter. When doing any gas work, that requires turning the gas on and off at the appliance, it's always good practice to locate where the main shutoff valve is at the gas meter. You want to be prepared that if something goes wrong, you can shut the whole system down. Most of these valves on the gas meter haven't been operated since their original installation. They can be very stiff and difficult to move without using a large wrench. It is obvious both these valves have been exercised and they both move quite smoothly, something you want to be able to do in an emergency situation. Now we're at the generator. When the valve handle is in line with the pipe, the gas is on. When the valve handle is perpendicular to the pipe, it is off. If the valve is old and you aren't sure that it's going to hold, you could start the generator and then turn the valve off and let it run out of fuel indicating that it is in fact working. My advice is to be prepared that if the gas valve isn't functioning, when you remove the cap on the drip leg, be prepared to put it back on quickly if the valve is not holding. When removing the cap, always use two wrenches, one to hold the nipple from turning and the other to remove the cap. Put a bit of pipe dope on the threads and install the adapter. You don't have to tighten it too much. It's not a permanent connection. We're only talking, say, a quarter of a pound of pressure. With the test cap on, attach the manometer. The static test pressure is 7.5 inches WC, water column. Perfect. Now you can remove the test fitting and put the three quarter inch black cap back on. A dab of pipe dope is really all you need. Before you leave the job, you should always test for leaks. I'm going to use a certified commercial leak detector first. After that, I will use regular dish soap, which is something we used in the days before all these fancy leak testers were available. The commercial leak detector is very thick and doesn't run. Turn on the gas, take a good look, check all around the fitting to make sure you don't have any leaks. You can see that there are no bubbles forming. I prefer this method using a lot of soap in the water bottle. It's easy, it floods the whole area and you definitely can check everywhere. Also, if there's excess pipe dope, it may help you to clean it off a bit. Working on gas is not that difficult. Follow the basic rules, respect it, and always have a backup plan that if something breaks or goes wrong, you can shut the system down. This is my favorite wrench, the 18 aluminum offset. 
If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, repair it. Don't wreck it. Thanks for watching.